Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you an offline dictionary application you can use in Ubuntu. So the program to download is called Golden Dict. I'll put a note of it, all this in the description below. So I've disconnected my internet connection at the moment. You'll see disconnected, disconnected, and I'll show you it working. I'll just type a word to look up, so I can do hello. There they are. I've added a couple of offline dictionaries already. Look at my name, quids. <laughs> Quid, pound sterling slang. That's where I get it from. And it is not a lump of chewing tobacco. Oh dear. Pound sterling. Military unit of the United Kingdom. And you can guess what I've, what I've got the last bit. Quids up. That's what I would like. Bit of a joke, really. Been using that name for a long time. Anyway, so that's the offline dictionary working there. So that's all good. Let's go on the internet now and I'll show you how to get the dictionary files for it. I've put them in this folder at the moment. Golden Dict, offline dicts. This is a website to get all the free dictionaries from. So it's babylon.com forward slash free dictionaries. Again, I'll put a link to that in the description below. So we've got a variety to choose from. We've got languages, references, basically all sorts there. So let's go languages. And you could have invented languages. So yeah, quite a few there. <laughs> Klingon, Middle Earth. Vulcan, oh dear, try that one, my glossary. But for some reason, each dictionary I try and download today doesn't want to download. How annoying, trust me to be in the middle of a video while that happens. Anyway, to explain what you do, so you would download those, drop them into a folder as I showed earlier, and then in Golden Dict, so you just go edit, dictionaries, add the path, whichever path you choose to put it on, drop them in there, and click the rescan button, so then any word you type in and look up, you can look in the offline dictionaries. So there you go, that's how you get an offline dictionary app in Ubuntu. So I hope you found that useful, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.